Medical professionalism for me is the work I do. It's the reason I do the work. The work may be a series of things. It may be phone calls, it may be physical exams, it may be making a diagnosis. But for me, the important thing is to be of service to my patients. The way I look at the world, I have a sign on my door that says, if you think you have a medical problem, come here and we'll try to help. So medical professionalism for me is trying to make good on that commitment every day. I'd say the way that professionalism has evolved in my own thinking since I've been in, in the profession has been in understanding how I as a physician interact with others, uh, other physicians, my accountability to groups of physicians, to the institution, to understanding that I have an obligation not just to do my best to give the best care that I can provide, but to try to reflect on my care that I provide by looking at quality improvement data, by sitting down with groups of colleagues to really brainstorm how are ways that we can actually improve care rather than just be satisfied with how we're doing things. It involves uh, interactions with other non-physicians, so nurses, uh, respiratory therapists, pharmacists, etc., with hospital administration. So there's kind of a community, uh, uh, a sense of working within a community of people who are trying to deliver care to patients. And that's a broader sense of professional than I think I probably realized earlier on in my career. I think there is a role of medical professionalism in achieving our new goals of affordability, um, quality, and accessibility. Um, it's, a, it's a matter of wondering how we are going to change the paradigm now to focus on our new emphasis. Uh, not just the primacy of the patient, but it's the welfare of the patient in the context of evidence-based, team-based care, um, appropriate use of resources, not inappropriate use of resources. So we are I think all of us are going to need to struggle to say what is the new charter. If you don't look at medical professional values and the core ethical principles underlying them, then we might as well let market forces work. Let regulators decide what they want to do. The only way I think we can truly create a, a patient-centered system that truly promotes the health of the public is to have it driven by professional values. The sanctity of uh, doing good and avoiding harm with the patient. The obligation, the moral obligation, to seek social justice. I think those are absolute preconditions of any real transformation of the American healthcare system.